So in the last video, we talked about how we can back propagate the, the gradients uh, through a fully connected layers, how we can find out gradients with respect to weights, and then we can apply these gradients on the weights. Now we try to understand that what happens if we have kind of a different layer that has got some complicated function, and how can we back propagate, how, how can we back propagate the gradients through the soft max function, let us suppose, for example. So say if you have a fully connected layer and then you have a soft max layer and then you are calculating some kind of a loss function. Say for example, you are trying to calculate say cross entropy function where you do have true labels that has been hot encoded. So we look at that example quickly. So let me uh, pull out that example where we have fully connected layer and uh, then it goes to a soft max function. So now we have here a fully connected layer that is giving out some kind of a output that is a three by three matrix that you see in this uh, diagram and that's going through the softmax layer and the softmax function what it does is that it just takes the exponent of each of the uh, term in this uh, matrix and then it tries to find out some kind of a probability distribution by uh, just summing over uh, all the entries all the terms into the matrix uh, for a single row and that's how it finally ends up with this matrix. So you feed a three by three matrix through a softmax layer, and finally the output that you get is this kind of a matrix. And uh, now if you focus our attention to this one term, and we try to find out that how we can uh, how we can actually back propagate this final output, because this is something that is going to be used to calculate the loss. And uh, we'll have to differentiate each one of these terms uh, uh, with respect to the input uh, parameters, say x11 and x12, and then we'll have to back propagate that gradient through the softmax layer. So, if you take just one example and uh, we try to differentiate, let's suppose we try to differentiate this with x11, and if you try to look at this term, because we are doing the partial differentiation, this term is going to be constant. So, we can uh, substitute this with a uh, capital C saying that this is the constant into this expression. And if we try to take a equivalent uh, function where we have, say, a parameter or variable z that is equal to e raised to the power x divided by e raised to the power x plus c, and here what we are trying to do is that we are trying to differentiate this z with respect to x. And in order to do that, I can quickly do some rearrangement for this expression and I can utilize the chain rule of differentiation where I can write these uh, two terms and multiply them to get my uh, dou z by dou x. And uh, this makes our differentiation a little easier. So next step is just differentiating these two uh, terms on the right hand side and try to reduce this to this. Uh, expression. And finally, if we rearrange this, then we finally will end up with a very simple looking uh, equation. So, and now if you come back to my left hand side, and I do the same operation uh, that we have done on the right hand side on this expression, and that's going to reduce down to this uh, uh, expression that is uh, similar to what we have derived on the right hand side. And if we try to briefly write this expression uh, by calling this uh, uh, softmax output function that is uh, the fraction that you have as e raised to the power x11 divided by summation of all the terms as p, then dou p by dou x is going to be just p into 1 minus p. And now let us apply this uh, whole function uh, on uh, my overall loss differentiation that we try to actually do while we try to back propagate the gradients through the softmax there. Now let's put it back into the yeah, actual output from the softmax. And now, as I said, that we can call this whole term as P. So let me try to put each of the terms with proper indices. Uh, we call it P11, P12. And if we try to write it generically, uh, that's the output of the softmax function. Then we can like, write it as PNI and the expression being uh, this that you see here. If we have some true labels, that is the target that has already been uh, hot encoded, uh, that would look something like this. And on top of that, if I try to find out what's going to be my cross entropy loss, then that would be something like this. So in order to find out cross entropy loss, we have to take negative logarithm of each of the terms P, and then I will have to multiply it to the actual uh, values in the target matrix. And then I can sum all of these attributes into this, all of these parameters, all of the uh, terms into this uh, final matrix to give me a final loss. So if I try to write the loss function, then that's going to be just summation of all these individual terms into this log props matrix. And if you try to reduce down this expression, because finally we have to sum it up, 
uh, and then we have to back propagate it. So let's now focus our attention on each of the negative logarithms of the term p, and we will try to utilize the derivation that we have just done in um, in the last slide. And when we try to do that, if we try to uh, find out, first of all, what is the first differentiation? So we try to differentiate each of the term uh, that we, that is the output of the softbacks. And <laughs> we can reduce it down to something like this. And if we just focus our attention to this particular matrix, then we can rearrange it uh, by trying to, again, utilize the chain rule of differentiation. And we can write it something like this. So each term has been now split into two different terms that we can individually try to find out. So the first term that you see um, in the matrix that is uh, partial differentiation of negative of log, that is kind of easy because the variable is p11. So we can just uh, write, uh, uh, write it as 1 by p11. And then we can utilize the knowledge of what we uh, just did, that how do we differentiate this p term with respect to x1 or x2. So if you try to apply that, then this can be further reduced to this and we can reduce it down further as this and finally uh, what we did into the last slide uh, we can replace this tau p by tau x term by simply writing it as p into 1 minus p so these individual terms can then be replaced and can be written as something like this now p12 cancels out and it further reduces down to this so that's how we see that we can uh, propagate the gradients through the softmax layer by just taking, just reducing down uh, each of the term, each of the probabilities that is coming out from softmax and reduce it by uh, one. And uh, we only do it for all those terms where we have actual hard, hard encoded value as one and we keep all of them safe. So next week we will try to actually explore, we'll try to do some coding around this and we'll see how we can back propagate all these losses through different ways. Thank you.